Hey guys, this is Tori Cushing with Authority Labs, and today I'm just going to be continuing the Excel 101 series. This is Excel 103 about annotating in Excel. So here I have callouts, which are really my favorite annotation option. And here you can just see that I can really draw attention to different aspects of my report just by simply having this little callout box to say that this is one that's doing really well, this is one that's doing really well. It's really great for CEOs who are looking at your report because they may not be total data nerds like we are. And it's really good to have something that's just completely laid out in front of them and say, you know, your eye is supposed to go right here. To start, I'm just going to go ahead and select this text and delete this call out box because we're going to make it in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go up into the insert tab over here. And I'm going to go over to the illustrations and under illustrations, I'm going to click on the shapes options. This little tiny option over here. I'm going to go all the way down to call outs and I'm going to select the one that I will like the most. Um, I'm going to select the line callout, which is line callout number two. They don't really have the most intuitive names. Um, I think they, pe they thought people would be using all these funky shapes more, but honestly, I think the callouts at the very bottom are the most useful tool out of the shapes. So I'm going to select it and then just draw it out. That yeah, seems like an okay size. And I'm going to reposition it by just selecting this little this little four-way arrow here that you get when you drag over the, the boundary box. You can select it and move it around like that. If you click on one of the corners, then you can select it and move it around like that. So any of you who have used Photoshop and Illustrator, it's a very similar kind of system. I'm going to go over here to the line and drag this by the little yellow box to point it to the metric that I'm trying to you know, point out. And you can re design all of these lines, which is really cool, just by clicking on this little yellow box and set it up the way that you like. Okay, so next I'm going to go to branding. So under format, I have all these different branding options. Now before, like I said in the blog post, their branding is huge. You know, you really want to be able to look at your report, glance away, and be able to see that, you know, my branded colors are orange because I'm with Authority Labs. And if, you know, if you were with another company and you wanted to really have your report be branded, I would say, you know, use their company colors. If they have purple and blue, use purple and blue, even though I really despise the color purple. Anyway, so branded colors, very important. So under this format option, you have all these different formats that you can change. You can change the shape fill. So you can change it to all these different ones. You don't have to go with these preset options. You can also change the shape outline. There are some really cool options in here. You can change this shape to be have an arrow at the end, which I actually really like. You can change this that it's just a one-way arrow, which I'm going to go ahead and select. Just to point out exactly which metric you want. You can also change different shape effects. So if you want like, you know, to get all funky with reflections and glows and, you know, get all crazy with that. I usually like to stay away from that. I think it kind of ends up giving it this like 1998 kind of word format feel to it. So I'm going to stick with just having the different shape fills, but there are a lot of options that you can have in this gradient section. So I just went under shape fill and went under gradients and you can change the different gradients to kind of highlight the different um, areas of your boundary box. So now that I have that all set up, I'm going to go under text box. I'm going to actually add some text to this call out. So to do this, I go over to the text box option and I drag over to my box and I just click and then I can copy in my text. So you can also edit your text from the word styles or word art styles, and you can get all kinds of funky, you know, with these different text styles. The only thing you have to do is make sure that your text is selected and then you can get all crazy with it. I'm just going to go with the black preset, but you know, if you want to get all crazy, go crazy with it. Um, one thing that's not that intuitive is that you have all these different text options, but you don't have change the size options. So to do that, you go back over to the home tab and change the size with these options or you know, under here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, sometimes what will happen is your call out box will be, will look like this. No problem, just select the call out box and go over to this and bring it forward. Just like what you have in different word um, options when you have an image that's like stuck behind your text, you can use these arrange options to, to kind of deal with that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. If you would like to learn more about annotating, I have an entire 103 Excel series and blog posts about it, so go ahead and check that out over at authoritylabs.com. Thank you.